What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So you're tired of being the skinniest friend in the group and you're tired of not being able to gain any muscle because of your metabolism and how fast it is. If you think your metabolism is too fast, you're completely wrong. My metabolism was just as fast and I'm gonna show you the best ways that you can avoid that and how you can still gain muscle and weight no matter how fast your metabolism is. First thing you wanna do before anything else is look up a maintenance calorie calculator and find out what your maintenance calories are in general. What your maintenance calories are is what your body needs to have to maintain the current weight that you are at. By putting in your age, height, everything that it has you do in that calculator, it'll tell you exactly what you need to have every single day to maintain that weight that you wanna be at. This is the first step that I have done to gain weight rather than just maintain what my body looked like. When you start getting into the terms of caloric maintenance, that's when you find out about your caloric surplus. Now what a caloric surplus is, is when you eat more than you burn or when your body consumes more than you burn. What this does is in return, rather than just maintaining that weight, that's when you start gaining weight. Same thing as if you were trying to lose weight, you have a caloric deficit. So you eat less calories than you burn, therefore you're losing weight. This is the number one thing that people avoid when they're trying to gain or lose weight. Some people believe that when they're trying to lose weight that they just go to caloric deficit and they stop eating almost altogether. They'll have like a thousand calories a day. When in return that's wrong, you still need to have a certain amount of calories. So let's say your maintenance calories are 3,000 calories a day and you're trying to lose weight. It's better to drop down to 2,800 to 2,600 rather than drop all the way down to 1,000 for your body's health. Yeah, you'll lose weight if you go down to like a thousand calories a day, but the only problem is you're going to be losing more than just fat. You're also going to be losing your muscle and your water weight and all that stuff adds up and it's not that good. What I did going into a caloric surplus really helped me out. The training is the fun part about working out. So you get to have the fun with whatever weight you want to do, whatever exercises you want to do. The eating is what is the hard part that gets you the most gains. A good starting point to get into a caloric surplus is about 100 to 300 calories a day added onto your maintenance calories. So let's say your maintenance calories is 3,000 calories a day, bump it up to 31 to 3,300 calories a day. That's a good start, that way you can figure out where you wanna be at and how much more you wanna raise it every single day. Now training is important, but like I said, eating is the most important part and also along with eating is your rest. So as funny as it may sound, you need to train super hard in the gym, obviously, but you also need to train even harder on your rest. You need to make sure you're getting that eight to 10 hours of sleep at night, which is a lot to ask for, but it's the most, it's the best for maximum growth. And on top of that, if you're not eating, you're not gonna fuel your body off of what it just burned during the workout. Therefore, you will lose weight and you might not lose the weight that you're looking for. You might not lose fat, you might start to lose muscle, you might start to lose something else. It just depends on how much you've eaten and everything else. Eating is key. Eating is the number one key. Another thing that I want to talk about that I didn't even know until probably a couple months ago. Cardio will not make you lose weight like you think it will. Most people that are trying to bulk up and gain size do not do cardio just for the sole reason that they think they'll lose weight and that's not their main goal. I was the same way until a couple months ago when I realized that I could still do cardio yet still gain the weight that I was needing to gain. The only thing that cardio does that has a negative effect is just burn more calories. Now if you're trying to lose weight, cardio is great. But at the same time, the only thing that cardio is doing is burning these calories. So instead of just losing all these calories, you need to just refuel your body with more. So if you lose an extra 100 calories on the treadmill, just eat an extra 100 calories. And that's it. And it's so good for your heart health. You need to do cardio because it is great for your heart health. No matter how much everybody avoids it, including myself, cardio is very good for your health. And at the same time, it's not going to make you lose weight like you think it will. And another super important thing that I really cracked down on when I started working out is drink your water. I have almost two gallons a day now. Water is needed in your body. It's what flushes your body out of anything bad. You need to stay hydrated. It keeps you energized. It keeps you going. Now, when I first started working out, I didn't count my calories, like I said. But then I started getting into meal plans and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to talk about next. I meal planned very strictly for about two to three months and it worked really well and I found really good results and I'll explain exactly how I did it and exactly what I did. The number one thing with meal plans, if you're going to crack down on eating this much, is track your calories and everything you eat no matter what it is and if it's water, track your water as well. Now, you're asking me how do you do that? So there's an app called MyFitnessPal which is right here on my phone. That app will help you track your calories, your water, everything that you need and tell you exactly what goals you need to meet for the day. It's also free. So for my meal plans, what I did, and it was really boring every single day, was I did four meal plans of chicken and rice and veggies. So in the morning, I would make like a egg sandwich with 
toast or something like that so I got my carbs and protein in, in the day. But then for the other four meals of the day, I would have chicken, rice, veggies, water. Every single day, it got really boring. So my number one tip that I can give you to do so you don't do what I did is not make your meals boring. What I mean by that is you're gonna have a simple meal no matter what, if you're doing chicken and rice or chicken and beef or noodles and beef, anything like that. But don't be afraid to add some sauces or some seasoning or something like that because the more calories, the better, especially when you're trying to gain weight. If you're trying to lose weight, it's different, but I'm giving you guys the example of what I did to gain weight and what you can do to do it better than I did. So yeah, don't make your meals boring. Just add some seasoning, add some sauce because I didn't do that. I just really cracked down on it and it was horrible and I got really tired of the meals, but I stuck through it and it still worked really well. Sometimes I'll meal plan, but now I'll just pop some rice and chicken in the microwave once it's already cooked and it'll just be like an everyday meal for me now because I do end up seasoning it and all that stuff now. The last and best tip that I can give is just be consistent. Consistency is key for anything in the gym, whether it's for your dedication, your motivation, your discipline, anything like that. But especially with eating, it is very hard to stay on track and a lot of people don't do it and that's why a lot of people just give up on this stuff but stay consistent because it, it eventually pays off. Like I said, I gained about 50 pounds in seven months, eight months, and it's just so much better when you stay consistent with it because it makes the process a lot faster than going on and off and on and off and on and off. So stay consistent, that is the number one thing I can tell you. From experience, it is worth it. They say to try to get at least one gram of protein per pound in your body, and I was getting about 200 grams of protein in a day, which is a lot, but it works and there's a, only a certain amount that your body can consume but at the same time about 200 if you're really trying to gain weight and you're in the same area as me that's exactly what I was doing and it's really paid off now you're wondering what your best protein sources are that's what this next section is about so there's a lot of different protein sources that you can get but there's only a few that are the top ones that I always recommend that are also very easy and they're also the best for you one out of everything but not everybody can eat is seafood Seafood is the number one thing for protein. Below that you have your chicken and your meats and everything else, but seafood is by far the number one for me. Aside from meats, you also have things such as eggs and dairy products. Now the reason that I put these below seafood and meats is because not everybody can do dairy, but seafood and then we'll go into the eggs and dairy products and stuff like that. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is the difference between a dirty bulk and a clean bulk for when you're trying to gain weight because this is very important. People get these very confused and then they don't know which one to decide between to do. I myself do not eat that much fast food. It makes me sick. I don't like the feeling of it. But if you are able to handle it and you want to gain the weight, that is basically what a dirty bulk is. You eat whatever you want, whenever you want, as much of it as you want, and you don't count any calories. It just throws on a ton of weight, fat, everything. This is also known as a like progressive way of gaining weight a lot faster than if you were to do a clean bulk, which is what I'm going to talk about next. A clean bulk is when you start to put on weight, but you worry about what kind of weight you're putting on. So instead of when you have a dirty bulk, what you'll do is you'll gain all this weight, and then at the end of your dirty bulk, you will cut down, and that way you will lose all of that fat that you gained through that dirty bulk. A clean bulk is the complete opposite of that, but it's still the same concept as for gaining weight. So you eat as clean as possible, and all you will do is you'll just gain muscle, and you'll not gain that much fat if you're doing it correctly. Clean bulking is a lot less common because a lot of people are very impatient they don't like doing this a lot of people just like eating whatever they want and then saying they're gonna cut down and like I said earlier just train hard because training hard in the gym is important and it's just as important as eating outside the gym but if you're not training in general you're not gonna be able to put on that muscle that you want to put on along with your healthy eating habits and if you guys have any more suggestions over types of videos that I could do like this or guides that I could give to help people gain weight just as I did through personal experience, go ahead and follow my Instagram. I'll put that right here. Following my Instagram, you can go ahead and DM me and just let me know any suggestions that you want me to do for these type of videos. Once again, I hope that I helped you in some sort of way. This is a guide that I have learned through my personal experiences and what I have done to gain my weight. And I hope that it helped you just as much as it helped me over the last couple of months. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Be safe, don't do that. These fields are gonna swallow you. Be safe, don't do that. These fields are back, 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 back. back.